back, and we are All have right. Brandon is back on. Oh. Uh, Peter, fly safe. Tell your wife, thank you for, thanks for y'all coming out. And okay, so All who's right. Brandon playing right now? This is Jake. Okay, this is Jake. What no, is no, this is Cody. Cody, got it. Yeah, and Cody is... Cody, I don't know most of his records, but he was 3-2 last I knew. That sounds about right. Okay, and we just saw Brandon defeat someone. Uh, Brandon just defeated Jake. Yes. And I'm going to go double check Cody's record real quick. So that's two wins for Brandon now. All right. So we are watching this right now. Okay. Is everything updated? Yes. Can I see the thing? Uh, if you go to chat, you can see it. Oh if you just type bang uh, challenge. All right, so we are uh, here. We have Cody playing against Brandon. Cody is on his red, He's white. Got Brandon then Elaine. Got it. We got red, white initiative. Uh, no, red, white, green. Naya, uh, Naya Agro. No initiative in here. Oh, there's no initiative in his name? No, no, he's got no initiative. Nice. Um, well, we do have two one uh, one mana red creatures right. slapping down with a black lotus in play. Yeah, against that's... Brandon, who has approximately nothing. I don't know what's underneath that uh, shell dock. Shell dock there, but yeah, it's probably not relevant. Uh, I guess he's gonna he's tapping a blue to the attack, so this is probably a borrower. Notice he didn't dash here, which is interesting. Yeah, I was, I was going to say, it's, it seems like a place you would dash, but maybe I'm just um, too conservative. Yeah, I mean, I think I'll, but, you know, with the with, with the Lotus and the uh, the Crocus can save, right? Sure. So, yeah, there are times where you just want the ongoing threat where you don't have to keep spending the mana. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's also not like Brandon's going to be slapping a bunch of creatures into play right, right now. Uh, so, we have, uh, we have yeah, the Crocus can stop the Questing Beast. Okay, are you done? I'm done now. Okay. So if I get in the top, someone can face. All right. So yeah, there's Titania and Questing Beast that, that right. the, the Caracas can stop. Right? Which are good. I mean, it's really yeah, really good answers to, especially the Questing Beast. Totally. I think that's a daze at the bottom of his hand. Yeah, that looks like a daze. Could be a Lorian. No, I think it's just a daze. Uh, and then there's some green card there. As well. No, it's not a Lorian reveal. I think it's a Lorian reveal. There's a whole breacher. A whole breacher to come in and block. Get yeah. stomped. Get stomped. Get stomped, breacher. Yeah. I don't love Hall Breacher existing, but Bone Crusher hurts my soul every time it does things. <laughs> Bone Crusher's a good card. Mm. Bone Crusher, I mean, getting drafted in round 22 feels wrong to me. It's right. so powerful. And I, 25, seven drafts and not being drafted feels wrong to me, too. That, that can't be right. But yeah, the, I think a lot of times it's just like there aren't that many people in red. Right, right. So he. Mystical uh, for Temporal Mastery, probably? No, the Mystical is the Ragavan hit. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, so Cody doesn't have a ton, but he can get just get a removal spell, right? Sure. At that point, right? He can get. Uh, if he even wants it. Prismatic, ending. Um, he doesn't have a ton, but, you know, he's got a few. Yeah. And he has a treasure token as well. Yeah. Look at that fancy treasure token over there. Metamorphose, once upon a time. Prismatic Indian breakout, fourth air lingus. Oh, fourth air lingus. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good <laughs> one. With, with the lotus out. Yeah. yeah. Four, fourth is the answer. And he can't cast it for free, right? He has to, has to, has yeah, he has, he has to cast it. it. He has to pop the treasure for it. Did he do it, or does he have to cast it later? No, he, he, he can do it. Maybe he just chose not to. Must be. That is a Lorian reveal. So he's cycling Lorian reveal for a, a trop. Mm hmm. Or is on here? Uh, yeah, we also have him right here. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Who are you concerned about? I just saw in general. I, yes. I didn't know. That, I didn't know that this was done. Yeah, let's pop over and check on standings a minute while they're shuffling. Um, so we have. We have done four and three. Dan and okay. Elaine are kind of the two people in top contention right, right. now. Elaine really wants to win out and go 6-3. Six, 6-1. Six, she, she's very, very obviously. She's intense right now. <laughs> yes. She is in top of lane mode at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and if Dan can... Like she keeps Dan asking to see the, the standings over and over, like tiebreakers or something. You know? Yeah. If, if Dan can make it to a 5-3, or yeah. to a 5-2... Um, well, Dan and her are playing right now. 
Yeah. Oh so. man, that'll be t that'll be an intense one. We got a hex drinker in play. Okay, hex drinker is. I mean, I've never seen Brandon not pump a hex drinker. So yeah. But he Lorient, I think first. So he Lorient for the um, for the trap. Yes. Okay. So it's a question of whether he pays one life to put it in there. Right. He has a daze in play. He passed the turn though. Is the one mana for anything, or is he just holding mm -hmm. back the life? I don't know. He is playing a red deck, but right. So there's a Cauldra in his hand, an Archon. Um, I can't tell what that multicolor card Same, was. Yeah, something gold. Might be Breakthrough. Or Comet. Uh, oh, Comet's got breakout a full makes art. A lot of yeah, sense. Breakout. It might, Comet's got more of a full art look. You're right. I think it's Breakout. Yeah, it's Breakout. Yep. So Breakout is a fun one. Yeah, so he's going to look at the top six. And if it's cost two or less, he puts a creature into play. To cost two or less, it gains haste. If you didn't put, if you, if you get one into two or less, you can give it, put it in play and gain haste. If you didn't, you put it into your hand, uh, and then you put the rest in the bottom. Right. So you have to find it's all sorts of finding a two-drop creature. Right. Or less. Right. Otherwise, you do get a creature in your hand. Right. Otherwise, it's just a bad draw card. It still has to be a two-drop, though, right? No, any creature, oh, if any you didn't put the revealed card into the battle, battlefield this way, put it in your hand. God, there's so many words on that card. Right. But yes. Reveal a creature. If it's two or less, put it into play. Right. If you didn't put it into play... Put it into play with haste. Yeah. Right. That is an Inti. Inti. Yeah. Yes. Inti that's a good, that, a good one. That's a good one. You can discard a card. If you do, it gets 1-1 one, one and trample. And then whenever you discard one or more cards, you exile Tower Card Library, you may play it to the end of your next end step. So it is a very good hasty here. So it's a... Yep, it's very good. And between those two cards, there have been 18 lines of text yeah. played so far. <laughs> the walls of text on Darcy, which isn't uncommon. Yes. Right? Ragavan and uh, Inti there. It's just it's so ridiculous. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, draw three cards. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah, that uh, daze is looking real bad when there's a Black Lotus in play. Okay, so DRC can't do anything. It's just a 1-1 right now. Yeah. But Brandon's never going to block with a Hex Drinker. No, not. I mean, do you block the Ragavan? You might. Why isn't Inti attacking? He has uh, he's thinking. He's... Okay. Oh, I think Brandon was asking if it had haste. Right, and he was in the breakthrough. Brandon yes. was pointing out the... Breakout. Yeah, breakthrough, breakout. No. I'm a child of the 80s. I played a lot of Breakthrough back uh, in the day. Breakthrough's a very different card. That's also very good. But we're not playing Dredge here. Right. Oh, so we're going to pitch a Nissa. He's like, I don't, I don't need that. He's like, Why are you pitching never been drafted? Oh, it's been drafted a long time ago. Okay. Right. That makes more sense. Why are you pitching a Nissa? Why would you do that? <laughs> Ragavan. Yeah, I mean, he could have cast the Nissa. But so there's no green, no forest. The NT put the counter on the Ragavan. Okay. You got a Jetmere's Garden. Yeah. Inti allows you to play the card? Uh, yeah, you can until your next turn. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, he's going to get a Jetmere's Garden. And you can put the target on any creature. And it gains Trample. Pretty good. So it's a 3 2 Ragavan with Trample. And he, has he not made a land drop yet? Uh, I do not think he's made a land drop yet. Cause he, yeah, he was the first player. So I think, yeah. Yeah, I think he has a land drop open. Which would be great, because then he can unlock his green cards. With something other than Lotus, of course. Okay, so there's the first treasure token. And a Brainstorm yeah. for Ragavan. Man, Ragavan's doing Ragavan things. Yeah. You, know, you don't want to draw it late, but man, oh man. You draw it early, it is so good. It does seem pretty busted. Yeah, so I don't think he cast the Mystical earlier. I probably would have, but... And Archon's going to slow that roll so much. Yeah, I mean, the Mystical would be for, like, Manamorphos. Fourth Aerolingus. Yeah. Be, yeah. I mean, he had Lotus, so, like, Mystical for Fourth Aerolingus seems really pretty good. It's pretty good, you're right. It would basically uh, be Fourth I think he spring. dazed there, and he protected... He said, screw it, I'm, I, this Archon's worth so much, I'm protecting it by popping the Lotus. Yes. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Archon of Emiria. Yeah, he said, this Archon is worth so much in this pot that I'm going to pop this Lotus and, uh, for it. Uh, that comes into play tap because yeah. the Archon, he's like, hey, by the way, 
Brandon, Brandon only has like three non. Or he only has like three basics. Yeah. So Brandon's like, okay, well, I'm gonna maybe change that a little. Might bit. as well play the Dryad Arbor if I have to do that. Right. Though. But yeah, I, I don't know if Brandon even has one more turn. That is now an active. That's why he pitched the Nissa because that's now an active Darcy. Oh, that makes sense because he has, the artifact right. plus the Nissa. And the land, and then the breakout. Yeah, so Brandon has to win this turn. Yeah. The Bone Crusher is still on an adventure? Yeah. Okay. Bone Crusher is still adventuring. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I don't know what line Brandon has from the spot. I mean, of course, he can do like. LED echo nonsense. Right, but not with Archon out. Right, he only has one spell per turn. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And Hex Drinker needs four tokens to become relevant? Yeah. No, three. It's it's pro instant. It's four, four. I mean... All right. It can block. That might right. give him a turn. Let's see, because Archon is three? Yeah, Archon's two, three. It's a two, three, so there's five Darcy's in the Darcy's a four now. Or Darcy's three. So there's there's eight damage. Whether I guess the NT the NT has to decide where it puts the token first. Yeah. So the NT can put a token on itself, and then yeah. there's eight damage unblockable. Right. Okay. So Cody has the line if he sees it. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Cody said, "Don't I just have a line?" And then yeah. Brandon said, "Yep, I'll scoop." Oh, that's a uh, time twist underneath there. All right, I'll be right back and let you okay. take a look yeah. at sideboards while you do that. Yeah, let's take a look here. Pull those up. All right, so what do we got? We've got... Here you go. Over here. Yeah, we're fine. Um, all right, so in this match, Red Elemental Blast seems pretty good from Cody. Um, natural state's a potential. It depends on how much Cody fears some of those artifacts and enchantments. Uh... Thrall, maybe we'll have to check that. Um, Null Rod could shut down the treasures. So, again, kind of amazing. So, Cody's got some really good maybes here, right? Like Null Rod, uh, potentially even Rest in Peace. Uh, so, there's a lot of interesting maybes here. Does this depend on what Cody feels he needs and what he wants to lose? Um, that is not what you need, Brandon. Okay, so... Uh, for our, uh, engineering bridge seems really ideal here. Um, you know, especially if you can get it early. Uh, recall doesn't do anything. Leyline doesn't really do much. Metamorph seems solid. Uh, just copying some of those big creatures. Uh, Scooze doesn't do much. Still sabotage Terra Sunder. Terra Sunder probably. I think they'll Terra Sunder. No, no, not really. That's four mana. Yeah, I don't really like Brandon's board for this match that much. I mean, I think bridge is a potential... And metamorphs the potential. Uh, you know, maybe he can go the crab plan and try to crab out. Uh, but looking at that, going back then to Cody, um, I think that Null Rod probably feels good. And then either State or Grudge and Red Elemental Blast. I think that's a pretty good setup of the of those. So uh, some options. For sure. See if we can see anything here. Looks like Brandon's bringing in three-ish. Did not see what they were. Cody's got two to three. Uh, I think that's two. And he's got one already pulled. And he's thinking about the other. And I think he says, you know, I, I I know Cody pretty well, and I wouldn't be surprised if he just says, you know what, I'm not cutting two, I'm just going to go to 41 and, and put in two. Though I think that would be bad because his mana base is mediocre. Um, Are you talking about Brandon? No, Cody. Okay, because Brandon's already running 41. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's a chance Cody has too, to be honest. Uh... It's at the very bottom of the sheet, which you can't see right now. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, this is 41 main deck. Okay, so Cody is already running 41 yeah. as well. It's two 41 card <laughs> yeah, specials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, there's a good chance Cody is as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Cody is up one. Yeah. Uh, 
Did we see any giant bangers out of either board? Uh, no, I mean, uh, Cody's got a better board against Brandon than Brandon has against Cody. Like, uh, Red Metal Blast, uh, potentially no rod to shut down treasures. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, you know, you could rest in peace, you could um, grudge. You know, there's just a couple of different things there. Uh, Does Containment Priest do anything here? Not really. Uh, no. Bridge. A Containment Priest stops Titania? I don't think it does. It stops tokens, does it? Oh, is it? Is it only cre- non-token creatures? Uh, over here. the sideboard. Yes. Uh, the creature would be a bit of a. Oh, non- it's just an, okay. Non-token creature. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. So they're resolving mulligans right now. That's a pretty good hand. It has force of will gush. This is the first time I've seen force of will in this hand. Mm-hmm. Force of will gush, land land. Something blue. Twister. There's a twister there and a gold vein hydra. Okay. I don't know what the third card from the left is. I don't know the second next to the gush is. Uh, it's a gold vein hydra. Oh, okay. Or no, it's a hex drinker. You can see it right there. Same art. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. I th- he's going to keep this in the strength of the hex drinker. Yeah. And force of one. Cody's going to mull. I didn't see what he had there, but. Did you see anything else while you're out there? Any results? No. Okay. Yeah, so then from Brandon, is there anything that's... I mean, the, in Bridge can be if he uses his hand and brings it in. Uh, I mean, I don't think it's amazing, but I don't think it's bad either. He's not going to go the Crab Plan. No, I think Crab Plan seems slow. Um, Metamorph... Terra Sunder's too slow. I think Metamorph's fine. Metamorph's okay. So, yeah. Metamorph is also pretty slow, though. I guess it can, like, just clop, copy a Ragavan or something. Yeah, right, right. Like, you know, you copy a Ragavan, you copy um, a Hex Drinker, right? Like, yeah. Winter Orb is also too slow. Yeah. He'll go under you. So we see a Layla, a Land, a Metamorphose. Um, Lion Sash is probably prismatic. good. I think Cody wants Lion Sash for this Echo Plan. It's going to put the Nissa on the bottom, which makes sense here. There's a Horizon Canopy. This hand isn't great, but it's not It's not bad. Is it turn three, Layla? It is now, yeah. I mean, the only way he, he the only way he's not turn three, Layla, is Lotus anyway. He has no ramp outside of Lotus. Oh, wow, okay. That's why I said I don't. Yeah, love the list. Like it, it's, it, you know, it's three two, so it's it's, it's getting there. But all right, Shell Doc has got Echo, Questing Beast, Mystic Confluence, and I think a land. I don't say this a lot, but I think this list could have used a Pyrotic Ritual. Yeah, uh, something else. You know, the a ritual. Um, a I mean, Pyrotic Ritual into Minskin Boo or Comet is very strong, or even Nissa. Yeah. Or I guess a Name Sticker Goblin. There's the Hexdrinker. It was not Hexdrinker earlier. So it must be a gold van then. Mm, it could have been from that. Okay, so he plays the Hexdrinker and levels it up. Uh, Jetmir Gardens, and he's Prismatic Endian, the Hexdrinker. Right. Pretty good answer to it, when, as long as you can. Oh, and there's the Force of Will. Oh, wow. Pitch in the gush. Ah, uh, see... Brandon has respect for cards that I do not. <laughs> but at the same time, Gush is so far from activating. He right. doesn't no. have a single island. That's a Brazen Borrower, I think. But yes, yeah, so yet again, still zero islands. Okay, so tapping three. Is he saving the extra? Because getting rid of the Prismatic Ending, I think it's sort of the only non instant answer. Yeah. At least of the sorceries. Oh, uh, you don't want to do that. Oh. Sorry. So I was just going to see the. the yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can't. He has no other. Uh, oh, he has creature. Uh, he can uh, skyclave it. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he has skyclave in there. It's pretty good. I mean, also. Does Comet... Comet probably does something to kill it. I don't know. Uh, Comet does weird stuff, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Comet's ability doesn't actually even target. Uh, it does damage equal to the number of loyalty counters to him, to a creature or player. So they had to do it that way because of the way that Planeswalkers work yeah. in this ability because it's random. Because you can't declare a target at the beginning when you activate it. You would have to choose the target at the time you activate yeah, it. Yeah, and you can't and because you don't same. know because yeah. the dice hasn't come. So his ability doesn't target. And also, it, ha- it could potentially target multiple times. Yeah. Okay, so there's... A, is that a Lelia? Yeah, Lelia. Yeah, 
So, like, like Comet can't kill a true name because it still has protection from the damage, but it can get around a lot of other things, right? Like, this card is so dumb. I love it. All right, so Hex Drinker's going to be swinging past the Lilia. Yeah. Choosing to engage in the race. 12 pass. So Lelia's going to get up to a four this time, assuming nothing else happens. Yeah. I don't know what that card was. Uh, Stoneforge, at least. Okay. Because it wasn't in his hand already. Less an Inti. Inti, yeah. So Inti is... Oh, no, you're wrong right. button. Uh, I hit the wrong one. Which one are you looking for? I was going, just looking at the hover over Inti and see if we'll go. Oh, yeah, here. Does not have haste, so. Correct, yeah. Uh, so he bounced the uh, Layla with the borrower there. Makes sense. Yeah, he has to go to 11. I don't know why he's doing that now, but. Oh, I guess it was about to attack. So about to attack, attack right. Trigger. And he didn't want the trigger. So Metamorphos. In the second main. Right. Uh, draw him a card. Break the Breaking out. I mean, yeah, doesn't get haste here. Unless he, unless he did it. In response to the NT, which I don't know, but um, I would hope that Brandon would have waited. Yeah. Uh, so there's a Stoneforge in that. So that was not Stoneforge. Now there's Stoneforge. Makes uh, sense. Since Stoneforge goes find the only target, unless Lance right. Ash got brought in. I think Lion Sash is good. I don't think you want Rest in Peace, but I think Lion Sash does enough value that you still bring it in. Yeah, no, Lion Sash is fine. I mean, just being able to strip out Brandon's graveyard before he wheels it all back in feels useful it requires white which makes it a little more awkward oh true but he revealed the calder of course yeah completely but yeah he's down to 11 yeah i know i mean uh, he can with a land level it up to a 6-6 six, six. uh yeah yep he does not have that five right now uh, i think no, he did. He uh, he did that pre-combat, so he gets this. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, swing for one. He doesn't even need a land. It's already at five, so he can just bump it three times. Inti, you can go ahead and pull it back. Inti, one more time. Is Inti even any creature attacks? Like, this card is just getting more and more interesting, right? Like, I think it's when you attack, just period. He yeah. doesn't have to. He, Inti doesn't have to attack, so. <laughs> yeah. What a wild card, man. It's, it's really strong. Yeah. I thought it had to attack, but no. And it's also not when you discard off of that ability. It's yeah. just need to discard. Let's well, see. I hadn't been running this in my Faldorn list because I thought it had to attack, and I don't attack that much. But now I need to put this in my Faldorn list. Because, Anything attacks, yeah. Yeah. Well, and it's also if you discard, it's until your next end step. Right. So if you discard on an opponent's turn, you can use it. And Faldorn discards, right? Like, that's what he does. Like, yeah. Uh, but if you discard does. on an opponent's turn, it also lets you use it on your own turn. Yeah. So, no, for sure. I think I need to... Put an inti in there after all. All right, so pain three probably is going to go all into the hex drinker. It's a two turn clock. No. Brandon disagrees. He's rather twister. Yep. So I, I three, but he needed a fourth to go all into the hex drinker. The hex drinker is at four right now. I is think. that five? Is it five? Uh, unless I'm very bad at reading that die. Yeah. We do have we I do think have large dice that they're right. choosing not to use, right. which is why we're never going to stream again. Right. right. No, we're done. Yeah. yeah. Screw y'all. Yeah. That's this no. is the. Trigger. Uh, we are going to go on a little bit hiatus. We've been cranking these out for uh, 14 of them, you know. Uh, yeah. A little yes. bit of a COVID break, so and they're included, so quite some time. But yeah, we've been doing this since 2019. At least. 2018. 2018. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and it's it's not like we're going I, we're still going to do content, and you know we'll still talk, we'll still be around, and I guarantee someone will get a bug and post a little article, and you know. Yeah. We're probably going to have... Uh, Some still, friends and families. Probably have one of these in, in the winter. Right. We're probably also still going to have the city championship against Chicago. Uh, but we're not going to try to fight right. for quarterly anymore. And we'll put up some results for anything that we do just for fun around as well. And, and honestly, probably still going to stream the drafts of those other fun, friends and family. Yeah. Just do the meta... Not not do all the matches. Yeah. And you can always pop into the Discord as well. And Yeah, come play a match with us. Yeah. All right. So... See, I mean, this Twister, I don't know. I think... Twisters feel very fair all the time. Yeah, in this case, I don't think this was a great Twister. Like, 
compared to being able to threaten a two-turn clock. It seems pretty tough. Right. He did bring in the crab package. All right. And he played the land before the crab, too. There's the LED. Okay. Yeah, he's like, yeah, that's an adventure. Let's yeah, let's be clear. Up. Yeah. Let me be clear. Thank you, Cody. That's the judge in me. <laughs> Get the dog, catch a dog. Yeah, I don't like that twister there, right? It's like... I get that he felt like he didn't have any options. And right, like you need to refill, but... It could be a like, boat. But you're giving Cody turn one, basically, with uh -huh. the new hand, right? And a full set of mana, because you're going to have one. Assuming that I'm not wildly wrong, and that actually does say five on it, mm -hmm. I think threatening a two-turn clock, that's protection from everything, is a stronger play. Right, I'm going to go spot. I need to see that says five or four. Yeah. There is a solitude in hand now. So notably solitude is not an instant. So at this point, trying to go in on the Hex Drinker would be a very bad plan. So swap it with the other die so they know. All right, so Cody has a plethora of options at this point. The obvious play is to just uh, slap in your uh, just put in your calder complete. Oh no, calder complete's gone. What am I talking about? Uh, so he has a full group of cards. We don't know exactly what those are, but it was fine. Yeah. <coughs> so Cody, I mean, maybe maybe the thinking was Tide Twister takes the calder out of Cody's hand. Yeah, I think um, that's got to be the only reason that you do it. But calder again doesn't gain life, so being able to kill him in two turns versus losing your hex trigger to a solitude is pretty tough. Or Skyclave, or, you know. Sure. Yeah, having a protection from everything is better than protection from instance, is I think what we're saying. But also, it's very right. easy well, in and the booth to and make all the these... Twister actually even rerolls the uh, Prismatic into... Sure. I don't know. The, the, it's very easy in the booth to make yeah, all these no, decisions. Yeah, for sure. We're not sitting there under the lights. What's the plat in the yard from? Did he not uh, reshuffle his graveyard? He did not reshuffle it. Unless he discarded it up in the inti somehow. But no, he didn't discard okay. it. He didn't shuffle yeah, it. Okay. Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up, guys. Alright, Comet's gonna be coming in though. Comet does a whole lot of things, so. Okay, so they were discarded off the inti. They were exiles to inti oh. and uh, Layla. Got it, okay. His exile zone is sideways. Right, that's Got it. that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so Comet resolves. Uh, Comet is... We have to actually pull up the stupid card and talk about it. So. Yeah, so uh, let's see what a roll is. Uh, rolls a six. Oh. So he gets two rolls now. Two more rolls, and uh, yeah. So he just has to roll six several more times? Yeah, I, I, I've lost to that. Trust me. It's, uh, I think four sixes was one. So that's five. That's damage. So it's going to do six damage. It's going to kill the Hex Drinker. And roll down two, I think, to that. To go to four. Deals damage equal number of loyalty counters yeah. on him. Yeah, it goes down to four. Goes down to two. And then second roll is a one, which is going to make some squirrels. Got it. And that goes up or down? Uh, up. Then Got it. On the squirrels. Two squirrels. And they have haste. Yeah. All right. Good job, Comet. You did things. Yeah. We need to roll that Comet up at some point, but maybe I think we'll realize it here in a second. I think it's up two on squirrels. Jeez. Yeah, all the crabs in combination with the uh, time twisters are a bit strange. And there's the ending back. Yep. Oh, did he realize he needs to roll the... I don't think it's gonna... Yeah, I don't think it matters. Yeah. That's why I'm not jumping up to you know, point it out. Like, I don't think it matters. Yeah, this is a tough one because it's, I think, from our spot in our like nice observer view, it's like why you should just go all in on a hex drinker, pretty obviously. Mm -hmm. But when you're sitting there and you're trying to think of what they could have, I think it's a lot harder to make that call. Or maybe we're just missing something, which happens no, a lot. Yeah, for sure. It's also possible Cody has like life gain somewhere that I'm just not thinking of. Or possibly he searched for... Yeah, I don't know. But 
All right, so Inti, that's going to be four, five, six damage coming in. Oh, yeah, trigger from Inti. Sure. Yeah, six damage before the Inti trigger. So discard. Finding a Bone Crusher. Yeah. Which will just stay XL forever. Sadly, not on an adventure. No, it's until next turn, right? On it's until your next end step. Oh, end step. That's right. That's right. It is end step. Okay. Yep. I play a lot of the discard decks or the exile decks, but there's so many ones I have piles like until my end totally. step, until uh, next turn, and still. <laughs> and that Brazen Borrower is just kind of languishing over there. Yeah. It can only block flyers, correct? Yes, it can only block flyers. It's, it's like that old Wind Drake or whatever. Yeah. Not Wind Drake, the other one. Okay, so Brandon has a hand of six cards. Yeah. So we'll see. And he was having him count his deck, it looks like. So, I mean, he might be thinking he's got Fast Bond Mill out here. That'd be pretty sweet. We also don't know what's under that shell, shell die pile. Right. Oh, that's why he was counting the deck. So, um, we do know what's under the shell die pile. I'm pretty sure it's an Echo of Eons. Okay. Um, I remember seeing it earlier. I know Echo was one of them. I don't remember if that's what it was. but If he happened to get Cody down to 20 and then flash in a Hell Breacher... Using the Echo, you can cast it for free the first time and then cast it for three off of the LED to mill f to, to do 14 cards and get 14 treasures. It's right. pretty freaking good. Yeah, we'll see. There's, there's certainly paths that Brandon has to win. But he is under yeah. a lot of pressure. Yeah, I mean, he's not scooping, so he sees, he sees something. Okay, so he's milling for three. Lotus, break, uh, Kavu, Maria. Arcana Amiria might be the most hateful card I've ever seen. <laughs> I really don't like that card. Last time we cubed at Brandon's, I won like two matches just off of that card. Just yeah. like, you know. It's just so aggressive. Yeah. A lot of this stuff starts with oh no. Oh, no, no. It doesn't start with passing the turn. Right. He's at six life. I guess he can block with the, the crab. Yeah, but like, I mean a comet if comet was at six like he's supposed to be. He could almost kill him himself, right, depending on the role. Yeah. Oh, Comet can target players? Yeah. Pretty solid. That's a six. Oof. Six again. Are you... Oh. Br Brandon has thrown his cards down. I think we're, I think yeah. we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another uh, squirrel? Yeah, another set of squirrels. No, I had ever roll like three sixes in a thing against me and then like damage, 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 you know? It's pretty pretty impossible to to be happy in this situation. Another set of squirrels. Yeah. I wonder how many tokens uh Cody packed. Uh that's his chatter he has his chatterfang token set. Oh, because nice. one of his main commander decks is chatterfang. So that's his chatterfang. He's got enough squirrels for it. <laughs> Yeah, those are his Chatterfang tokens. So. Jeez, man. <laughs> or Squirrely Dan, as we call it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, exactly. Chatterfang deck, or Shitty Shitty Fang Fang. <laughs> okay, and there's Lelia. Yeah, I know people uh, People like to make fun of Comet, but Comet is ridiculous. It's, it's, oh. I think it definitely deserves its spot alongside uh, Minsk and Move. Not yeah. quite the same, but... I think you and need the, the randomness is a little, you know. Sometimes, sure. sometimes you get the re, the the regrowth when you don't want it, right? But yeah. like, <laughs> I think you need to rewrite your uh, top planeswalkers. Oh yeah, yeah. No, it's a it's a different world now, you know. Yeah, what could Brandon even have here? Is it like Mystic Confluence or something? I mean, it's not. He only has four mana. Yeah. Actually, Mystic's what is what is under. Oh, okay. Mystic for sure is what's under. I remember now. Got it. So he, he does he have just, Mystic. He was just hoping that he would get enough cards off Cody to be able to cast Mystic Confluence right. and survive for another turn. And he might. He might have it. You never know. I don't know, man. But I don't even know. He, I mean, he can bounce three dudes and still take one, two, three, four, five, six. No, he, still, he, can't, he can't survive. He's at six. Yes. Like, there's enough squirrels. It doesn't matter. Like, That's unless we're missing. Unless he has something that we aren't thinking of. I guess he could block one. Uh, right. So he could live at one. If he bounces Layla, Inti, Stoneforge. I think he is uh, yeah. working through the process right. of, of acceptance uh, and, yeah. Depression. Correct, you know. yeah. 
Or because he was dangerous of grief here. Right. <laughs> yeah, in Chicago, I only got to cast Comet once. I just never drew it, but, mm-hmm. like, you know. There's the Hulk once. Balance, balance, balance. balance. No, that's the bigger squirrel, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't doesn't matter either way they're both just twos so correct so one two three four five six he can block one and live a turn yes and Cody can draw a card at the end step because I don't think he has any five drops that are worth writing home about no he didn't get a sorry um Nissa, but it's not, it doesn't do much at this point. Solitude, but I don't know. So he blocks the Stone Forge, takes the five, goes to one. Yep. And Crab's gone. Fourth Air Lane, guess, is pretty good. Yeah. Still, there's, there's so many cards that should win the game instantly. Yeah. I mean, Comet also probably just you know, wins it next time. Like it's, uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, he can just recast the two cards that got bounced. Yeah. But Brandon does get one more turn. He does get a turn? Wait, he's at one, though, right? He should be at one, yeah. Sure. That's probably only relevant for fast bond situations. That is a... It's a mystical tutor for an Echo of the Eons. Okay. Uh, I hear cursing happening, but beyond that, I'm not sure what's, what's the plan here. All right, so here goes the echo on top. Yeah. I'm gonna go look know that that life total is at one, just yeah. in case. In case fast bond becomes. Yeah, he's he's switching right now. He it just got switched. Oh good. Okay. He he heard you from his soul. That's good. <laughs> Cody was like, oh, there's uh, so there's the breacher. Okay. Step one. There's three blue pitching oh. it. <laughs> he's upset about something. He's gonna exile with the question druid, exile two cards. Okay. Darcy and Anissa, yeah. Those things don't matter? Uh, I mean, it, it, it somehow, well, off this question druid, after this thing, he answers the board. It does matter, because Anissa kills. Sure. Right. I, I think every card in Cody's deck has haste, so it yeah. probably doesn't matter. That's not Darcy, what is that? That is the new one. It's the two mana. Oh, it's the, it's the artifact Shutter. one. Right. Yeah. The, the one that if it gets the swing, he kills him. Generous plunderer. Right. The one that makes him pop all the treasure that swings. It, yeah. but it has to have haste, which it doesn't. But. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we've got seven treasures. Um, there's lots of tapped squirrels that are getting adjusted. Yeah, he's just setting everything up. Okay. So yeah, there's seven treasures. What okay, Brandon has already used the Echo. Has a Time Twister still in the deck, so that's a pretty good out. Yeah. Fast Bond is basically dead. Zuran Orb would be very good. Yeah, Orb would be fine. He didn't have a lot of land, but I also don't know if he has the orb in, but I assume he would bring it in this matchup. Yeah, you want it. That's right. There's an ancestral. That lets you keep going. But Ancestral is about the only thing that he has right now. Yeah, he can't tap the uh, uh, Waterlog Grove. <laughs> Correct. Well, he, he can tap it to draw a card. No. Well, yeah, but yeah, he can have a draw a card, but he can't tap it for mana, so. I don't know what those other two cards are. Oh, is that is that that terrible card that makes treasures? Is it Titania? Food? Oh, is it Titania or is it, it the one t- that makes food? The tire stri- no, his, his, his Tyros is a weird one, I think. It's like a new print of it. The Provisioner. Uh, okay, that was Provisioner. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I'm pretty sure it was Titania. Okay. Because I think the one he has is the new print uh, from, uh, like, Fallout or whatever. Got it. Because Titleist Provisioner could actually be good in this one. Yeah, no, food, food, food would be good. Being able to draw a card would be great. Okay, so he's going to draw a card off the Grove. Right. Just really looking for another uh, Time Twister, probably. Nope, it's a prismatic vista that he can't crack. Right, he's got a fetch he can't do anything with. There, there it is. Yeah. There's oh, the wow. Woo. All, right. All right, let's take a little break. Take a little break.